Hello, my dear student friends. Once again, I welcome you all to this uh, YouTube class. In our previous classes, we have discussed about uh, certain concepts like simple economy, central problems of an economy, production possibility frontier, and organization of uh, economic activities. In that organization of economic activities, centrally planned economy market economy and mixed economy kinds of uh, concepts we have discussed positive and normative economics microeconomics and uh, macro economics so let us get into the these concepts yes the first concept that is positive and uh, normative economics first we have to understand uh, why we need to study this uh, economics yes the first concept are the concept that is positive and normative economics so here before going to see the meaning and uh, the functions of these economics uh, first we have to understand why we need to study this uh, positive and uh, normative economics kind of uh, concepts okay so in earlier concepts uh, Underst we understood that there are many ways to solve economic uh, problems of an economy. See, in our earlier uh, concepts, so we have understood no. So, what kind of uh, <coughs> so we have learned that uh, what kind of economic problems uh, in an economy and how we can uh, how we can resolve those uh, economic problems uh, uh, through the various uh, mechanisms that we have understood no or that we have learned in that previous uh, concepts no. Yes. To in addition to that uh, concept. We have to understand, or we have to, <coughs> we, we have to, um, <coughs> yes. In addition to uh, those concepts, uh, it is very important to know or understand uh, which of these alternative ways uh, is more desirable for the economy as a whole. It means uh, whatever the measures or whatever the ways uh, we have used, no. So among which kind of way is more desirable for the economy as a whole it means uh, which kind of uh, uh, way is more appropriate or proper or which uh, uh, which kind of way which helps to economy as a whole it means uh, how uh, which kind of uh, measure or which kind of uh, uh, form or which kind of method which helpful to economy as a whole or to entire economy so that uh, we can judge uh, from this kind of uh, concepts like uh, positive and uh, normative economics Okay, we can evaluate the mechanisms from the two concepts of the economics that is two TWO2 from the two concepts of uh, economics such as positive economics and normative <coughs> economics okay so these are the two kinds of concepts which uh, comes under the economics okay these help understand whether that way is good or bad whether that uh, that uh, way whichever we are we have used to resolve the economic problems now whether that uh, method or whether that uh, way is good or bad whether that uh, <coughs> way <coughs> which <coughs> fulfills our that uh, what we call that desires or wants of a, an economy okay so that is what uh, we understand let us uh, see little more under that uh, positive and normative economics uh, concept yes first we have to understand how we have to define what is positive economics and what is normative economics okay positive economics is nothing but it deals with what was what is and what uh, will be in the economy under the set of circumstances means the positive economics uh, which starts which says or where we study what was what is and what will be in the economy or in an economy under set of circumstances it means uh, say in 1947 what kind of situations we had in the economy that speaks by positive economics in 2020 what kind of economics uh, what kind of economy we are having in our economy or what kind of situations we are having uh, in our in our economy that speaks by the same economics that is positive economics and the same economy with positive economics which uh, says that what will be in the economy under 
certain set of circumstances means that in 2025 what kind of economy we will have that speaks by the term positive economic means that positive economics which tracks or which deals past present and future circumstances which we will have in the or which uh, we can have in the economy that is positive economic okay i repeat once again positive economics which says or which deals what was what is and what will be in the economy under this means under set of set of circum situations okay under certain situations what kind of <coughs> economics we had what kind of economics we are having what kind of economics we will have so that kind of speaks by speaks under that positive economics like if we come at that normative economics there it deals with what should be or what ought to be in an economy under set of circumstances see that normative economics which says it will differ than that positive economics okay here <coughs> we see what should be in the economy it means this normative economics which speaks about the future of the economy okay means what should be done and what should not be done in the upcoming years or in the upcoming days that speaks in this normative economics okay i repeat once again normative economics is nothing but it is the or it deals or it says what should be or what ought to be in an economy under set of circumstances means yes here in the economy what kind of behavior or what kind of uh, <coughs> or what kind of uh, the or, or how much uh, the resources or how much uh, goods we should uh, produce and how much uh, resources we have to use that kind of says under this uh, normative economics okay normative economics uh, which says that uh, how we should be or how we should uh, behave or how we should not uh, behave that says under this uh, normative economics okay so like uh, at positive economics is if we come at that positive economics positive economics it speaks about uh, facts okay means uh, we have defined the positive economics as that says what was what is and what will be in the economic kind of uh, we have this uh, like we have defined no that's why that positive economics which speaks only facts means uh, the true values because it is it is particularly saying uh, what was at particular point of time and what is under particular point of time and uh, what will be in the particular point of time no so it means uh, there we, we can find uh, the facts or the true values so that uh, kind of we can find under that uh, positive economics if we come at uh, the normative economics uh, here it speaks about the uh, value judgment find uh, the facts or the exact figures but here you can say that uh, yes if we behave if we behave like so we can get uh, that kind of a uh, result means here it talks about only value judgment so if i if i walk uh, towards this side so i may cross uh, that destination i may or not okay yes i have not uh, crossed that destination no but in, the, in this normative economics uh, we study so if i go towards that side so i may cross uh, that uh, destination of that uh, road so that speaks uh, by the normative economics we don't uh, uh, we cannot say that uh, surely i, I can uh, cross that uh, road but we can say that uh, yes if i go towards this side so i, I may clear that value that, that uh, road uh, so it means uh, here we can find a little uh, <coughs> what we call that uh, here uh, we cannot uh, find or here we cannot see the shoreness so that uh, uh that, that uh, the, the person who is walking towards that uh, road no so he may not uh, walk later that's why so he talks about only value judgment but here we cannot find uh, the facts or uh, the exactness or the correct uh, values okay so that is what the difference between the, the second difference between positive economics and normative economics come at third distinction or the difference between the positive and normative economics is 
it explains actual happen of uh, a situation in an economy see that positive economics uh, which uh, talks about uh, facts no that's why it uh, says and it uh, provides the knowledge or it uh, helps us to <coughs> understand uh, the actual happen of uh, a situation in a an economy because it is a, it talks about a particular point of time no or particular period of time no that's why <coughs> here you can find the actual happen of a situation in an economy but if we come at a normative economics here we cannot find a, that actual happen of a situation but here uh, we can say that it explains what is good or what is bad it says what is good and what is bad kind of okay so it means uh, in future what will be the good and what will be the bad kind of we can understand in this normative economics but uh, we cannot uh, say surely that uh, future in future we can get uh, the good result or bad result so that kind of economics is normative economics come at uh, uh, the you know, positive economics there uh, i have mentioned one example to understand the positive economics so here on an average women earn less than men see here we just observe the sentence there on an average women earn less than in kanda sarasariyagi sarasariyagi mahileru purusharaginta kadime galasuttare means here you can find the exact or at present what kind of situation we are facing no what kind of situation we are having no so in nowadays also women are earning less than the men so that is the actual situation okay at present we are uh, having this kind of situation where that uh, on an average women are or women are earning less than men so this is a positive economics so if we come at the normative economics there <coughs> we can uh, find a, a kind of a example there women should be earn the same as men means uh, here it makes or it passes one judgment where and it passes one its own opinion so where women should be earn the same as men see here women should be earn the same as men it means it says uh, uh, the, the, the 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 good thing we don't know whether this statement will be true or not or it fulfills or not in upcoming days but uh, it passes uh, value judgments or its own opinions okay women should be earn the same as men okay so it means uh, it <coughs> it is in a few it is in a uh, yet yet to be yet to be what we call it yet to be uh, fulfilled yet yet not uh, this kind of situation we are having we are at present we are having uh, this kind of situation where that on an average women are uh, earning less than that men okay so we are passing one kind of opinion where women should be earn the same as men so this is the difference between positive and normative economics on this uh, you have two marks question that's why please remember uh, these uh, uh, <coughs> points which i have wrote in that uh, uh, positive and normative economics hope you have understood uh, why we need to why, why we need to study this uh, positive and normative economics kind of uh, concepts and uh, what, the, what are the differences between that positive and normative economics okay so here <coughs> i wanted to link uh, the same kind of uh, under this concept like uh, whatever the problems we are having now if uh, whatever the basic problems we are having uh, basic economic problems we are having now whatever the basic uh, economic problems we are having now so whether those are uh, fulfilled or resolved or not by the various uh, we can find uh, that through that positive and uh, normative economics if those are not uh, fulfilled so at the time we can use that normative economics kind of uh, concept okay whether uh, <coughs> that kind of problem will be solved okay we can, we can frame that kind of measures uh, uh, where uh, that uh, economic problems uh, can be solved so that kind of opinion or that kind of value judgment uh, we can frame here so this is a positive and normative economics so come at the next concept next and last concept that is micro and macro economics okay these are the two main branches of the uh, economics or we can categorize our economics uh, into two kinds of economics one is micro economics and other is macro economics let us define what is micro economics or what is macro 
economics are and uh, macroeconomics. In this microeconomics, it is branch of economics that studies the economic relationship or issues at an individual level like the households, the firms and the consumer. See here, that microeconomics which deals uh, with the individuals or which talks about only individuals or firms or units or households, not uh, the entire economy. Okay, so that is what uh, we learn in this uh, microeconomics. Microeconomics, which deals with the individual values or individual units. Okay, so that is what uh, said under that first uh, <coughs> point. That is, it is a branch of economics that studies the economic relationships or issues at an individual level, like the households, the firms, and the consumers. That is uh, microeconomics. From a macroeconomics okay this kind of a uh, <coughs> textbook or this kind of economics you will uh, learn uh, at your second part means uh, uh, in that uh, another uh, book textbook that is macroeconomics book where you will uh, study about this macroeconomics before that uh, let us understand what is macroeconomics macroeconomics also one of the branches of uh, that uh, economics it studies the economic relationships or issues of an economy as a whole it means uh, here we study that economics are uh, in a aggregate level means uh, here we club all the households here we club the all the firms if we club uh, that all the firms we can get our uh, it means uh, the aggregate of that firms as industry okay here we learn industry here we learn the general price levels or here we apply here we uh, study or it considers the total households or whatever the households comes in that uh, nation or in that economy you know so a study of that uh, households is nothing but macroeconomics i repeat once again it is the branch of economics that studies the economic relationships or issues of an economy as a whole okay let us come at the second uh, distinction between that micro and macroeconomics microeconomics is the main of that main objective of uh, that microeconomics is to analyze the principles, problems and uh, policies for the achievement of uh, the goal of optimum allocation of resources. See here. So here uh, <coughs> they are saying about uh, the goal of that uh, microeconomics. The main goal of that microeconomics is to optimum allocation of uh, resources. It means uh, optimum means uh, right or a proper allocation of uh, resources. Okay, so that uh, microeconomics which starts uh, about uh, the policy programs to achieve uh, the goal of uh, optimum allocation of uh, resources. But if we come at that uh, macroeconomics that investigates the principles, problems, and the policies relating to the achievement of uh, full employment and uh, expansion of productive capacity. See here. So in that microeconomics, we have seen that the goal of optimum allocation of uh, resources. But in this macroeconomics, uh, it has its own uh, resources like to achieve full employment, expansion of productive capacity. Okay, so that is what the, uh, the uh, motto or the goal of the term micro macroeconomics. Okay, <coughs> so it investigates uh, the policies and programs which ever formed that formed by that uh, microeconomics. Okay. So that is what uh, the role of that uh, macroeconomics, that is what they have said, it investigates the principles, problems and uh, policies relating to achievement of productive capacity. So that is what uh, the role of that macroeconomics. Come at third distinction is, it deals with how consumers or the producers make decisions depending on their given budget and uh, other variables. In this microeconomics, uh, we study how that consumers behaves or how that producers behaves or how they make their decisions with the budget and the resources okay so here we learn the behavior of consumers behavior of sellers behavior of producers okay so that is microeconomics or in this microeconomics we study the behavior of these economic agents but if we come at the macroeconomics 
it deals with uh, how different economic sectors like households industries and other government and non government means other government and uh, foreign sectors make their decision see uh, here we are seeing uh, the economy as a whole no it means uh, how that uh, all the households are taking uh, decisions how that industries are taking decisions and how that government is taking decisions and how the foreign sector sector means uh, the trade sector is taking a uh, decisions kind of we learn in this uh, macro economics okay instead of studying uh, individuals here we study aggregate uh, units or aggregate uh, values so that kind of macro that is macro economics here we study so these are concepts like the method of that micro economics uh, the method of uh, partial equilibrium see in this micro economics uh, we can find uh, the partial equilibrium not uh, total equilibrium or entire equilibrium in this micro economics we see partial equilibrium because we are studying uh, we are studying this uh, uh, <coughs> here we are studying uh, the individual units no that's why here we can find a uh, partial or the part of uh, equilibrium not a uh, uh, total or entire equilibrium that's why here we can find uh, the part of the equilibrium but in the, the general equilibrium means uh, the total equilibrium we can find there because we are studying there whole economy no or the aggregate values no that's why you can find there general equilibrium like the variables which comes in that microeconomics are price or price of a good consumers or con uh, a consumers demand a producers demand a laborers wage rent profit firms revenue or firms cash that's what we find here in that uh, microeconomics you can find the major variables involved are aggregate demand aggregate supply inflation unemployment poverty national income so these are the certain uh, concepts which we can find under that uh, macroeconomics okay so that uh, microeconomics which, which deals with uh, various kinds of theories like uh, the theory of consumer behavior the theory of producers behavior so this kind of theories comes under that uh, microeconomics at that macroeconomics you can find the theory of national income the theory of money the theory of general price levels so these are some uh, kinds of uh, uh, theories which can which which we can find uh, under that uh, micro and uh, under that macro economics okay just uh, mention these uh, uh, distinctions between and uh, between that micro economics in your that fair or uh, you can take uh, uh, after completion of this ch chapter i will uh, send you pdf uh, of pdf notes on the first chapter okay just uh, take photocopy of that or you can write uh, that in the fair